Let's continue with the domain and range of a quadratic function. So to find the domain, I would use a vertical line and I will go from left to right on the x-axis. And I want to determine for which values of x will the graph exist. And these arrows show that the graph will continue infinitely towards the left and infinitely towards the right. So that means a vertical line would cross the graph, the quadratic function, for every value of x. Which means the domain of x are all real values for x. Now the range for this graph is slightly different. If I start at negative infinity for y and I move up, I see that this red line is never crossing the quadratic function. And the first time that it touches the quadratic function is here at the lowest point of x, the minimum value, or the turning point of the function. So this point is the turning point. And the turning point value here, we want to look at the y value. So let's say, hypothetically, this y value is negative 4. That means that the range, so all the possible values of y, would start at negative 4 and move upward from there. We can see that the graph will continue to exist all the way up, all the way to infinity. So the range of this graph would be y is bigger or equal to negative 4, meaning the y values start at negative 4 and can also be equal to negative 4 all the way upwards to infinity. Another way to write it is negative 4 in a square bracket all the way to infinity, which is not included. Let's see how to find the domain and range in this example. If I take a vertical line and I move it on the x-axis from the left, I can see and imagine that the quadratic function would exist for all the values on the left. Now if I move that function, I can see there's no disruptions. It will always touch or intersect that vertical line. And this will continue all the way to positive infinity. So the domain, that is the x values, are all the real values, or all the possible values for x. Or it will exist from negative infinity to positive infinity. Now for the range, if I start on the y-axis of a horizontal line at negative infinity, I can see that the graph will exist for negative infinity on the left and on the right. And if I continue that upwards, I can see that it always touched the graph at two points. And that these two points are always moving closer and closer towards each other, up until it reaches the turning point. And then after the turning point, the graph does not exist. So in this example, the graph has a maximum value at its turning point. And that maximum value is a y value of 7. So the range is y must be smaller or equal to 7, meaning all the values from 7, including 7, downwards. We can also write it as from negative infinity excluded up until 7 included.